Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel, The World I Live In, at Susan K. World. Today is a very interesting day. I'll be hosting somebody that has lived the life and she's still living. She used to live but she's now thriving. Before we get into the story and everything else, I would like to encourage you to share, to comment. Please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Make sure that you hit the notification button that you will be the first to know when our videos are uploaded. So I would like to welcome my guest, Sams. She's a bully, but you can call her Sams. And there's a big story there as to why it is Sams. <laughs> yeah. When somebody talks about Sams, what, goes first, that what comes to your mind is the Bible, the Psalms of David. It's David who wrote the Psalms in the Bible. Here you are getting to be called Zabuli, Sams, and I believe that is a big story behind that. Yes, yeah, surely. But, um, well, before we get into it, I would like you to describe yourself in five words. How would you describe yourself? Well, first of all, I'm very honored to be here. Thank Such you. Such a, pl a privilege. Um, good morning. Is it good morning? Or from it's, wherever the... Uh, it's, it's, it's the, the, everywhere. Entirely. Yeah. So, yeah. Wherever you are, praise the name of King Jesus, whoever is watching this. My name is Zabuli. Uh, in uh, in Africa, every, every country has a way it calls my name. I went to Burundi and they called me Zaburi. I went to Gulu and they called me Zabuli and I didn't know I was <laughs> the one they were calling on stage. Anyway, um, Zabuli is a um, uh, God-fearing woman. Like That's like the topmost thing. Number two, Zabuli is a teacher. She's a mentor. Oh, Zabuli is not a survivor. She used to be a survivor. She's now She's tried. a watch. Uh, 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 she's a... Uh, yeah, that's true, but she's also a walking miracle. Okay, okay. Yes, you uh, are a walking miracle. Yes, yes. You are a walking miracle. Sometimes you don't need to tell the story. People just need to see you and they're like, oh, we saw her. We saw the story. But now we see her. We see her now. Exactly. So, her. yeah. So, Bully is a daughter uh, 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 in a family of five. Okay. Of a very beautiful Christian, Sabine Mama. Okay, that is interesting. <laughs> Mama, hi. <laughs> Zabul is right here yeah, and she's, sure. <laughs> uh, she's, uh, she's very proud of you. Oh, very Mama, much. Mama, she's always talking good things Ooh, about hallelujah. you. hallelujah. <laughs> I am glad to know that she has a mom like you. It's always good when we children talk well about our parents. It is the pride. And it's mother. quite interesting that... Uh, when we are growing up in most cases, yeah. especially when we are teenagers, we mm -hmm. are so rebellious. We come to fight with our mother, especially our mothers. You'll fight with your the mom. Girls, she hates ooh, you. Yeah, She's yeah. your number one enemy. You want to leave home. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> but as time, as time goes on, you realize that... She becomes that your best friend. She's your best friend. She's the one person in your corner 24-7 mm. from the day then up to the day exactly. now. Exactly. She's yes. the best thing that ever happened That's to you. That's very true. And I know your story, Zabuli is somebody who has lived their life. I believe she has lived from... You can see from it, she has gone through a lot, mm -hmm. and which she will share with us later. She has seen, she has been, you know, when the scripture says that I have picked you from the ends oh, of the earth. Oh. I've picked you from the ends of the yeah. earth. I've had her story, and I believe you'll hear it more. She has gone through a lot in her life, and I believe you can relate with what has gone in with mm -hmm. her, what has gone on in her life, and it will transform you. Mm -hmm. I remember one of the key things that um, you shared with me was um, about. Um, your upbringing. Yeah. I want you to briefly, briefly, very, very briefly talk about your childhood. Um, uh, number one, I was number three in, in, in among five children. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know whether it's true for other kids, but we are the most attention-seeking, deficient kids around town, the middle guys. The so-called middle, middle children. Yes. You have uh, these. Because mom is no longer so much excited about kids and she's not also not excited about the fact that you're crazy enough to be, you know. <laughs> but but my, mine, I think, did try her level best. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think I grew up with a missing thing. And uh, it's actually not until I was talking to you for the first time I actually put a name to it. It didn't have a name. That miss, that void? It, it never, a void. I didn't even realize how deep it had gone mm -hmm. until the day I was sharing with you. Because that's when I'm like, oh. A normal child doesn't do that. Mm -hmm. A normal child doesn't wake up and they just want to cause chaos everywhere they are. Mm -hmm. If they are not usually normal, they end up being psychopaths. Exactly. But for a mother like mine who prays, I can't, I can't be a, a psycho, man. I and, just can't. And that's quite interesting because at that point, a parent does, is confused. She doesn't oh, she, know what I, to do. I'm, she I'm has sure prayed. She was overwhelmed. She has prayed. She has served God. Oh, and she still cried. her child she cried. is still going she on cried. this path. The clan is, sat. There mm -hmm. was a place in my life where the clan sat. And they're like, you know what? We are done. 
and she's like you're sending her away i'm packing with her and she has other four children but she's so I, i'm thinking usually our parents give us what we, what they were given you can't give what you've not been given unless exactly. god feels exactly what you're not exactly able to receive. exactly so for me it was more of a search for i don't think purpose i think relevance and a, a reason to live mm -hmm. a reason to to because if I wasn't busy dis disturbing somebody or taking away somebody's peace of mind, I was actually taking it away from my own from self. Yourself, exactly. From yourself. You so there was, there, was, there was never a place to of, oh, this is enough. Mm -hmm. this, no, mm -hmm. there's always more. There's always more. And the worst thing is I never cared what I did. Mm -hmm. So that's mm -hmm. why I keep thinking, I think something always was missing. And you see, when, you, when you're talking about that, at what age do you start behaving like this? Is it right from... Oh, no, my mama told me... <laughs> I think she was joking, but I <laughs> she says when I was uh, I started walking, she wanted to give me out to somebody. <laughs> but I think she was joking. <laughs> like I was destroying everything. Yeah, I was yeah, a curious yeah. kind of kid. Mm -hmm. But I also think um, when God gives you, I, I was just reading about the call of God in the book of Luke chapter 9. Uh, when God called the disciples and he first equipped them, mm -hmm. he called them and those who were um, available mm -hmm. and obedient listened. But mm -hmm. when they listened, he gave them what they needed, authority and power. Through to the heal, Holy Spirit. To heal mm. the sick mm. and, and preach the word of God mm. and, and set the captives free. And then he sent them out. Well, I, 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 I've come to believe over years mm. of working with God now, mm. right, that I think God had equipped me with a spirit that destroys and now God doesn't do that. No, no, no. It destroys the Dis kingdom of darkness. To destroy the kingdom of darkness. But I was a part of that. Mm -hmm. I could not destroy what I was a part okay. of. So it comes to be a thing later. I was, I'm, 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 I'm a weapon. That's what I mean. Uh, and when God equips me with more knowledge and understanding about life, it's easy for me to preach what they need to know what will set them free. Mm -hmm. That becomes a weapon of mass destruction to the enemy exactly. who wants to steal, kill, and destroy. Exactly. So I think before I came to have a relationship with God, everything I touched turned, mm -hmm. like it, mm -hmm. it just died. So you just destroyed it just everything died. that you touched. Any mm -hmm. friend I had, I had a poisonous mouth, mm -hmm. and I was easily believed. So this starts from when I was a child. Mm -hmm. I was that kid who would steal my father. My father was tough who would see my father do something. Everyone is running from even being noticed by, by dad. And I'm saying, you know what, that was wrong. And I know they're going to beat the life out of me, but I'm going to say it. That daddy, what you're doing is Yes, wrong. and, and uh, they beat me later and still after I've finished crying, I'm like, yes, that was still wrong. And yet in the African culture, actually, a child does not talk Oh, you back don't to say that. You don't say anything. That, had, that uh, I think, mm. broke my dad at some point because mm. of me standing up to him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, so I think it's from childhood mm -hmm. I had a craving of some sort of thing. I don't still think there is a name to it, but ever since, honestly speaking, I met God. These days I use the shoe feet. Mm -hmm. The shoe feet, like I found a place where I can be told, you know what, that's wrong. Mm -hmm. Don't do that. And when you're told that, I you actually, actually do listen, listen. And I'm do convicted. Listen. Mm -hmm. But that voice started, okay, it's a whole long story, but it also had a manifestation of the day it came through mm -hmm. for me. Because mm -hmm. I used not to care. My mother used to cry a lot over things I used to do. Mm -hmm. And I still didn't stop. Uh, the, the people sat, I still, and she did everything right as a mother. Mm -hmm. She sacrificed everything. I have a big sister who always reminded us, mama has given up everything for us. For to us to, but mm -hmm. I didn't care. I didn't see it. It's because you were searching for something. And I was blind to anything mm -hmm. remorseful mm -hmm. in life, mm -hmm. anything mm -hmm. compassionate in life. I just was dead to that. Okay. Yeah, but it started from when I was a child. And there was that deep longing, deep searching. And yet, it, do you think if you had someone to guide you at that time, you you could not you may not have turned out to be as destructive as you did. No, I think my mother was there to do that. I was just not on the receiving end of it. Okay. I don't think I was even any place near. Okay. I wanna know that. I wanna learn that. I was more I, I, I was you ever walk like you don't have direction in life. Yes, it does happen. It does you happen a lot. Yes. She, it does happen. I think everybody in life actually does experience that. I went At a certain point long, in their lives, every human period. being does experience that. My whole that. childhood was like that. There was no reason to do this. There was no purpose. There was no greater good thing going on. There was no greater being to, you know? Do you think that uh, regardless of, uh, of everything that was going on at home, it had everything to do with the... Rather, it had a lot to do with what was going on at home, with you having a, a father who was very tough, 
and having a mom, a mom who was struggling a, so a, a much. mom who was struggling so much with life trying to raise four children having a dad who is trying to make ends meet and there was a lot of tension in the house and again you are the middle child of course i've read about something about the middle child syndrome oh yeah I don't know if you've had <laughs> the middle child syndrome so you, you were trying to struggle with so many things that you turned out that we're at quite an early age. I think to a certain extent, all that played a role, but mm. I think personally, I grew up with a missing thing going on with me. From the time you came on From this the time earth, there I was something that, that yes, was missing. Yes, because I was, I was always that kid in trouble. I remember mm. one time I broke a kid's uh, arm. And, and I, how did you do I, that? I pushed them into it. Uh, do you know those just the, the um, a drainage? It's no, 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 no. Like trash used to be. They used to dig holes. For oh trash. yes, it, 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 it yes. So it, we used a to rubbish go to, I, I think this is as early as P five. I was in. Yeah, that was around 10, 10, 10, 11. Exactly. That time around that's 10, the 11. earliest mm -hmm. thing I remember. And I didn't think anything would actually happen. I just pushed the kid off the ledge, and they just. Her name was Sarah. She, she came out of the thing broken and I didn't actually apologize and I was not scared of what Is it I, because you didn't understand what had happened I to her or just you just mean. didn't feel? I was just mean. That's why I'm telling you something broke. And mm. I think my mother did not know. Okay. And she did everything right. The problem was with me as a child. As a child. And I don't know whether it has a root cause of this is where it comes from because I don't remember any of them doing this. Mm -hmm. I, I just was different. That's the word. Okay. I was just different. So to, to answer you, I think it played a role, but me as a child also, I had something inside that was wrong. Something was, yeah. something that needed to be yes, fixed and nobody knew how to fix was it. was broken. And because no one was there to break it, nobody thought or thinks a child can be given birth to. With when they have some deficiency oh, or something broken. It happens. Already within them. It happens. Okay. And, and, and it, I, I, some people would think it's, it's um, a, a, a curse or something, but no, it's just that such children need extra understanding. Extra attention. You need extra and, and, attention. And then it's worse when you actually pay attention to them and they don't even know how to receive it. True. Yes, exactly. So it's one thing to actually do your thing right as a child mother. And the child doesn't know how to receive it. Yeah, you know, actually, when you say that, I remember in one of the series that we did on, on parenting, yeah. by the way, go remember to look for that uh, series on parenting. It's very powerful. Mm -hmm. It teaches us how to be very good parents. Yeah. So check on my YouTube channel. You'll find that series. I just wanted to know, because in there, there was the aspect that uh, I, I found some research that said that, you know, Everything in life, we are taught. You are taught to drive a car. Yeah. You are taught to, you are you go to school to learn to be a doctor, to be a teacher, whatever profession that you get you into. You live around society exactly. and you're nurtured by exactly, exactly. because everything is teaching. But yes. what happens when it comes to being a parent? People are not taught yeah. to be parents. It's, ju it's just like you just fall into this thing. And, and you, you do what you, you just, can. You, you, you're doing what you can. You're, you're, you're looking at experience, maybe what you saw your, your mother do, what mm -hmm. you've seen your aunties do, mm -hmm. what you've seen your sisters what do. Been uh, what you've been exposed to. What you've been exposed to in different things. Maybe you've watched it in the movies. So I just, I just want, to, I want to, to hear it from you. Do you think that um, actually it's important for parents? Because... Given that your mom did everything, literally, she was a very prayerful oh, she person. she did everything. She was right. very prayerful. She was, she was very prayerful. She was taking care of you. Would you would you agree that parents need to actually be taught to be parents? Um, I think we, it's very true. It's very important, especially because we are in an African culture where most now, for example, my father came from a family where there were fifty kids plus. How do you expect one parent with no background of being a parent and Take they care. start from one to mm -hmm. fifty mm -hmm. to even have the time. I think it should be intentional. It's it's exactly it's, 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 it's okay to mm. add to what instinct teaches exactly. you, to what experience teaches you. I think it's also okay to sit in a class being where there is of course there is no me. template of a perfect uh, a parent. Mm -hmm. uh, man, that's where the Bible comes in. Exactly. The Bible has exactly. all these classes. I, mean, I think people just need to start learning to live by the God code. By the word of God. Yes. The principles of That's God. That's very true. Because mm -hmm. th there is no class you'll miss with God. Mm -hmm. Even when you're stuck and you ask for the guidance, because the Bible says the Spirit of God teaches his own everything. I feel like knowing the Spirit of God to that level mm -hmm. gives you a chance. But also if there is a class around that people, 
Because it also takes a parent and a half to actually start to, that to kind go of for business. <laughs> as a, as a parenting. You gotta have documentation mm -hmm. of I'm a good parent because mm -hmm. people are gonna enroll because of the example of the children of you have. Of course, of course. But today I believe I believe sometimes it's just like everything is a gift. Yeah. There are certain things that come to us as gifts, but you polish them with research and it's okay to teach. Do it's, polish, it's okay polish to, them with yeah, research. Because I think some of the people who are parenting coaches are not even parents, but they have taken time to study to society, study, yes, study different and, yes. families and decided that for those I who want I to agree. be parents, this is, and you know, there is no one shoe fits all. No. Children are very different. That's, That's again where parents and have environments issues. Are raised yeah. into and so it's are very, different. very, 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 it's very difficult for all of you to be the same. But I just wanted to understand whether some basics are shared. Mm, of course, of course. So some basics I are really shared. agree with the class if there is one. Okay. Now, the other thing that I wanted to know is um, when, when you look back, yeah. when you look back at your life, what would you, in the beginning, you know, when, when we are children, we have all these big dreams and what we want to become. When you look back in your life, what was your desire? What did you want to become? Hmm. I, I think I always grew up knowing I am different. And, okay. and with that difference came something, you know how you feel is a, a thing. You don't know how to birth it. You don't know how to put it in words, but I always felt different. Did you think you different would Different who like, no, no. <laughs> No, nowhere in my plans. In Why life. did you ever think that you were going to do once you grew I up? I was always going to be a lawyer because I was always oh. in trouble, but I never got caught. <laughs> so you think good lawyers should be bad people? I was a liar. That's, that's the biggest. My mother always thought I was going to be a lawyer. She actually sometimes calls me lawyer. Mto. Really? My mom doesn't know so much Luganda, but she knows those things. So I think that was the dream. Mm -hmm. But I don't think, I think I would just have been a thief. <laughs> a professional well, thief. The whole anointing, I can't <laughs> give me. <laughs> well, we thank God, we thank God that right now you're a very different yes, person. Yes, A uh, very different person. Very and I believe that uh, that that journey, that journey has been, there's been a lot, a lot of milestones, yeah, a lot I of ended bounce, up. a lot of, but here you are today. Yeah. Uh, if I may ask you today, here you come dressed like this, looking like this. Uh, What's this? Um, uh, th with the kind of life I live, peace of mind is everything you want so i woke up and i'm like i need something that i can walk around in and not feel like a kasana kanjo chesa binyiga you so just, I just, I just you rolled to on free. this i have a lot of these and uh i think they are dope it's just <laughs> peaceful <laughs> okay so for you this represents this you is me i just love peace you lo and, you lo uh, and i just have been going through a dark season of my life a few okay. days ago and okay. okay i just i just wanted to roll up here and i just feel free to be me and <laughs> you do feel that you yes feel i am that right very now. much at well peace. uh well it's good to have uh <laughs> zabuli here on uh, on set with us and uh, in our next session watch out for our next video where we will be talking about drugs in schools yeah. how drugs are real yeah. share comment and do invite do somebody else do subscribe, subscribe please subscribe sure. to the world that i live in the susan k world see you in our next video mm -hmm.